Hey guys, you've probably heard the the saying before that uh, you should never fight a market. In other words, don't fight the trend. The trend is your friend. Well, um, I think that's definitely true, and it actually applies to the current uh, risk uh, on markets uh, like equities and, and still credit, actually, still at this point. But there's another little subtle nuance to this where I think it... Um, makes a big difference of how you structure the trade. So uh, our students know very well, and maybe you're uh, uh, someone who's been watching our YouTube channel for some time or our videos, uh, you know that I think, <clears throat> I think it's a lot easier to make a bet on where a asset is most likely not going to go as opposed to making a bet on where it is likely to go. Think about that. Maybe pause the video and think about that for a couple of days uh, or just a couple of minutes and think about how much dramatically different that bet is in higher probability. To give you a bit of an idea on this, um, I'm just going to show you a very simple chart here. You guys like my Italian tablecloth here? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm still on vacation. But you can see here, for example, this is a, an ETF representing um, material stocks. And you can see the trend here has been very clear for, the, for all of 2019 uh, to the upside. So, you know, particularly when we start breaking it past these sort of, you know, trend lines like the one here, uh, you know, that's definitely where you do not want to um, fight the trend. Now, more importantly, though, is how you structure the trade. So instead of buying the stock or ETF or commodity or currency, whatever it is at this point, and making the bet that it must go higher, the higher probability bet is saying, you know what, I don't think at this point it's going to go another 5% against me or 10% against me, right? Um, which means in, in, with those kind of bets, you can, you can then make money whether the, the asset goes sideways higher or even against you to to a, a decent degree and again you know a lot of people in when it comes to trading and investing are, are filled with fear fear and greed and uh, the immediate gratification uh, culture unfortunately is widespread which is why most people don't make money over time but if you think about it it's all about putting the odds in your favor and once you start thinking about the market in the way i just laid out to you um and you start actually doing it and putting on trades in this manner. And there's a very specific strategy that we teach to people who are using it on option strategy. We teach it all the time, special webinars. So look out for emails where we, we teach this um, and webinars every once in a while. Uh, but once you start thinking about it in terms of probability as opposed to a reward chasing, think about this. Last time you put on a trade, what was your main concern? Was it how much money you could make or was it the, the odds of success of actually hitting a profit? Most likely, and this is nothing against you in general, it's just most people do this, you mostly thought about the reward. And it's just not the way to think about it from a probability perspective. Or, or it's not the way to think about it if you want to be profitable over time. Right? It's, not much how, it's not how much money you can make, it's how good the odds are of actually making a profit. And um, I know particularly for people who are new in the market, this is a, sometimes a difficult concept to understand, which is why we do these special webinars. But I want you to kind of see uh, what our clients are saying. This is literally just from yesterday. We get these kind of, there's a bug here. Uh, we get these kind of, this kind of feedback every day. So watch this, for example. This is just yesterday. So this, this guy, Greg, he wrote to us. He said he's a new credit spread authority subscriber. He just closed the fourth trade within the first month, all winners, and his subscription was paid off after the first two. And then we got this one from David, and David said that uh, thanks to us, um, he started learning options with us uh, in March, so that's a couple months ago, and he just closed um, this trade here for a small gain. He had 22 trades in a row, not one losing trade, on average 330 bucks per trade. So you can, you can do the math. That's, that's a lot of money this guy's made already. So anyway, folks, I hope, let me see here, I hope this makes sense. And if you have any questions or comments, if you like this, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe to our channel, share, this, share the, the love. Talk to you soon.